going to speak on learning disability. Learning disability is a neurobiological disorder in one or more of the basic processes involved in understanding spoken and written language. It may also influence an individual's ability to listen, read, speak, reason, spell, do mathematical calculations and organize information. Learning disabilities are of different types. Dyslexia, dyscalculia, dyspraxia, dysgraphia, dysphasia, aphasia, visual processing disorder, non-verbal learning disorder and central auditory processing disorder. Let us now go through the types in brief. Dyslexia is a reading disability. Here, the individuals has trouble with reading and remembering written words fluently. Dyslexia should be clearly distinguished from general backwardness in scholastic achievement because it is characterized by slow acquisition of reading skills. There will be word omissions and distortions. Dyscalculia is a math disability. Here, the student struggles with math problems and concepts. There is difficulty in basic computational skills of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Dyspraxia, a motor coordination disability which is also known as sensory integration disorder. Children with this disability have delayed motor development which is below the expected level on the basis of their age and intelligence. Features of this disorder are impairment in development of motor coordination which results in careless movements, poor balance, poor hand to eye coordination, exaggerated movements, example flapping hands while running. They also fall easily while sitting or walking and they even have difficulty in performing certain tasks, for example tying shoelaces. Dysgraphia is a writing disability. Here, the student has difficulty with forming letters. Visual processing disorder is a sensory disability related to processing images. And nonverbal learning disorder is a visual spatial disability related to body control. Central auditory processing disorder is a sensory disability related to processing sounds. Dysphasia is a language disability where the student has difficulty with reading comprehension. Aphasia is also a language disability where the student has difficulty understanding the spoken language. We all know the student who is constantly restless or a student who struggles to finish his or her work never know what page we are on or doesn't hear the homework or assignment that is being given. In some cases, it may be true that the children exhibiting these behaviors may be lazy or unfocused. Hence, most of the time, children with learning disabilities are termed lazy. They are always being told to practice or work hard. Moreover, there is little understanding of the fact that it is not a matter of having students with learning disabilities do a class or activity over again. It is a matter of having them do it differently. So, according to National Institute of Health, learning disability affects 1 in 7 people. The earlier detection learning disability leads to better chances for a child to succeed in his or her school. Parents should be encouraged to understand the warning signs of learning disability at least as early as preschool because the initial years are very crucial for a young child. Learning disability can, that can affect reading are more, more prevalent than people think. Becoming aware of the warning signs of learning disabilities and getting children the necessary help early as possible can open way for a child's future. The most common learning disability is, is difficulty with language and reading. Many children and adults with learning disabilities remain undiagnosed resulting in academic failures, decreased self-esteem and also difficulty in workplaces. With early detection and intervention, parents can help children with necessary skills for coping and compensating for the learning disability. There are a lot of myths related to learning disabilities. For example, 
people with learning disabilities are not very smart or learning disability is just an excuse for being irresponsible or unmotivated or they are just lazy or adults with learning disability cannot succeed in a higher education but in reality children with learning disabilities are just as smart as other children and intelligence has nothing to do with learning disabilities Learning disability is caused by neurological impairment. Some people with learning disabilities put in a lot of effort to get through a day and this can be very exhausting. More and more people with learning disabilities are going to college or universities and they are also succeeding. With proper support, adults with learning disabilities can be successful at higher education. So, we need to understand that all children learn in their individual ways so children with learning disabilities simply process information differently having a learning disability can affect a child's ability to read write speak do math and also build social relationships but they are generally of normal or above not average intelligence thank you